There's a lot of fear going around right now, and I want to tell you what I'm afraid of. I'm afraid of you. I'm afraid that you don't care. You stop by saying I'm a couple of years too late. I'm afraid that you feel helpless. The world's not a bunch of pretty postcards. Union, I was planning on and hopeless and small. Now I just came to give my regards and keep my faith. And the more you allow yourself to feel that way, let go of your words that I've been hanging on. The less you think you're capable of. But if you oh, accept that you can do something, then do it. Oh, oh. I'm afraid that you're going to confuse strength and weakness. I'm afraid that you're going to be numb and detach and think that if you can witness horrors and feel nothing, then you're doing something right. But in fact, you're doing something wrong. You are proving how weak you are by not caring. To protect me, just scream mayday, we're going down. I'm afraid for you because I think you're too scared to be scared. It's scary and I know it hurts, but the only way to heal the pain is through the pain. Now I must say, you had my mind in quite the red. I don't want you to feel hopeless. I deceived you with false virtue. I don't want to lose you. Now I'm sitting like a gambler in his den. It's not okay. Down in a and anyone that tells you that it's impossible or there's nothing you can do or it's outside of your control is lying to you. But they're lying to themselves because they are not as strong as you are. I've been setting fire to my bed sheets. Oh, oh, oh. These will be the divergent. They are the true purpose of this experiment. They are vital. Humanity's survival. Don't let them convince you that you're small. Because a lot of small things coming together can do big things and are big things. A lot of small moments matter. <laughs>